Hey guys, Joshua Zamora here with a very quick video to talk about a few coming through our support desk about create. So I just kind of put them on a the line here to go through them just to kind of help you guys out a little more. Uh, so the first thing that we have been seeing is, of course, some people uh, complaining about the quality of the articles. OK, now when it comes to create, there is going to be a wide range of quality. Uh, between you know the the quality of the article it creates, so it's going to be from a social article to a really really good article, okay. And at the end of the day, the number one thing that we have been seeing as a common denominator is the starting prompt, okay. And I can't stress this enough. Uh, you do want to make sure that you are supplying a good starting prompt when you are using the standard writer. OK, and uh, I did mention this and cover this quite a bit on the live session that we held on Sunday. Uh, but I just want to reiterate it uh, right now where, you know, the way that you want to think about your starting prompt is as if you were about to sit down uh, and write uh, a 500 word article yourself. So put yourself in the frame of mind as if you were going to spend the next 30 minutes writing uh, an entire article yourself and that first sentence that you write uh, in that frame of mind as if you were going to write an entire article the quality of that first sentence is the same level of quality that you want to supply to create okay as your starting prompt so for the most part the better the starting prompt the better the quality of the article that you're going to get okay and I did, again, I did cover this on the live session that we held on Sunday, and I even did some examples of this. Uh, unfortunately, Create decided to write a really good article, uh, even if I did supply it with a bad prompt. Uh, but again, if you want to consistently get great quality articles, you want to spend some time on the starting prompt. And again, write as if you were going to write a, an entire piece of content yourself and that first sentence that is the kind of uh, starting prompt that you want to supply some people are asking about the niches okay or the niches or however it is that you say it uh, right now we have uh, 76 uh, niches inside of create for those of you that purchased uh, the upgrade number one okay So for those of you that purchased upgrade number one, there's a total of 76, 76 niches. For those of you that purchased just the main front end, uh, we have 50 of them. All right. Now, our goal is to have about 480 to 500 niches between now and this next six to 12 months. OK, however, these uh, 76 uh, are um, going to be for those who purchased upgrade number one okay which right now all you have to do is put down one dollar to get access to all of the niches we currently have and to get access to the niches that we will be having in the future as well now we do plan again to have a total of between 400 and 500 niches coming over the next six to 12 months the reason that it's going to take six to 12 months is because it takes about one day to train create to write about a, a specific niche uh, so if you think about it there's between 400 480 and 500 new niches that we have planned to add to create that means that it's going to take about 480 to 500 days for it to complete now we do have two computers running at the same time uh, to speed this process up so you can divide these two numbers in two so it can be anywhere between 240 to 250 days uh, before we have all of these niches added okay uh, that's why we're saying between 6 to 12 months uh, so if you don't see a particular niche in these 76 uh, at the moment uh, then just be patient with us or you can hit up our support desk and if we get enough demand for a particular niche we'll move that one up the line and get it added as quickly as possible uh, but for now that's kind of how things are working with our platform uh, because again it does take an entire day to train create to write about a specific niche 
again this is true ai that we're working with so you know we do have some limitations in how fast we can train our ai to write content for specific niches uh, so you know if you're patient with us uh, there's a good chance we will be covering your niche in uh, one of these 480 to 500 uh, but right now we have 50 for the front end and 76 for the ot01 and again if you missed uh, the announcement from sunday we did offer unlimited credits for those of you that upgrade to uh, upgrade number one so if you haven't yet upgraded to that uh, make sure that you do so uh, soon because uh, there's a good chance we will be uh, removing that but for those of you that are already current customers you still get, can get that locked in now another thing that we've been getting asked or, or we've been seeing is people trying to create uh, content for very specific products or very specific uh, locations so product reviews or specific locations all right uh, now unfortunately create it simply doesn't know everything okay we're able to train it about writing for a specific niche but we can't train it about writing about the apple watch for example okay like an apple watch review uh, it just there's certain things that it doesn't know okay and same thing with locations okay you can get a general electric article but it's going to be very difficult to get um a specific content written about a specific city and a specific country just because again create doesn't know those things okay uh so you what you could do is get a more generalized article for the niche that you want and then add your own uh content to it to match your specific general location uh, or to you know the specific product that you are wanting to promote all right it's just it, it's very difficult to uh train create to write about things that are that specific okay so unfortunately if you if you were looking for a piece of content uh a piece of uh, software to write uh, specific product reviews for you uh then you know create is not going to be that platform it's just it gets too specific like that and we didn't build it to write specific product reviews all right now let's talk about the best way to use create okay now this is going to be you know kind of more of an opinion based answer because there's multiple ways for you to be able to use create you can use it to uh, sell content writing services you can use it to write content for your clients you can use it to uh, you know ex exclusively to write content for your private blog networks or exclusively to write content for uh, your syndication purposes it's really going to come down to what it is that you're looking to do with it all right uh, but when it comes to actually the best way to use create in terms of using the platform again it's going to come down to the starting prompt uh, and making sure you are selecting the correct uh, niches when you are uh, starting a new campaign because that's one thing that we've seen uh, as well people selecting uh, a niche and then providing a starting prompt that is not relevant to that niche so obviously those two things are not going to match so it's not going to give a good article all right so uh, when it comes to the best way to use create it comes back down to the starting prompt so make sure that you do take the time to read our guide on writing effective prompts and make sure that you also uh, watch the replay of sunday's uh, training so that uh, you can see live examples of that uh, you know what i showed on the training now here's another question should i edit or post directly again uh, this is all going to come down to what you're using the content for if you're wanting to get something about a specific location obviously you're going to want to uh, edit the article and add your own uh, content to it to match uh, you know your your client or your area or whatever it is to you know really um, add that unique spin to it so that it matches whatever it is that you're looking to promote um, another thing that many of our users are doing is using create to kick you out of that writer's block so they'll use it to get a uh, kickstart into writing a piece of content and then they'll finish the piece of content 
based on what create already wrote for them or they'll customize what create wrote and then it'll kick you out of that writer's block okay so that's another way that people are using create uh, but i definitely recommend you should always edit it as well uh, sometimes create will write you a piece of content but the formatting isn't the best so you may want to format it better before you post it to your site uh, you may even want to go ahead and add some links to it uh, obviously we will be adding the ability for you to add images and videos in the near future and also links within your content and be able to format it as well before posting it but for now you'll have to do that on your own on your actual wordpress site or whatever content management system you're using but definitely you should be editing it okay you should be adding your call to actions you should be adding your monetization strategies all of that stuff you should still be doing on your own okay uh, a few other questions is uh, are they only uh, are these articles only for seo purposes no absolutely not okay again this all comes back to uh, number one the starting prompt to get a good quality article uh, editing your article okay so that you can pu publish it on your money site on your main site uh, but at the same time you, you of course the content that create rights can also be used exclusively for seo purposes so if you are running a private blog network or a web 2.0 network or whatever it is if you have a network of sites that you are using to rank on the first page of google you can absolutely use these articles as is for those different properties okay so yes absolutely they're not uh create doesn't only create uh content for seo purposes uh but if you want to use it just for seo purposes you can all right and the last question can i make money just from the articles without seo okay so Absolutely, you can. I know in the in all the live sessions that I held, uh, the majority of the people that were on there were uh, currently focusing on affiliate marketing. Uh, so the training that we will be holding on Thursday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is going to show you exactly how to uh, use the content that create rights for you. Uh, and monetize it with affiliate offers without having to do SEO. So uh, make sure that you do register for that. It's going to be on Thursday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And again, we're going to show you exactly how you can start making money with Create without having to do any SEO. And you can start getting uh, results within days as well because we have a very unique traffic strategy uh, that produces some great results. Uh, so absolutely, there's multiple ways to make money with Create. Uh, and one of them being obviously affiliate marketing and uh, we're going to show you how to do that on Thursday's call. So hopefully this video helps you a little bit more to kind of understand how you should approach create uh, and how you should use create to get the best uh, quality articles. So uh, stay tuned for more emails so that I can continue to help you get the most out of our platform and make sure that you do register for our live session on Thursday at 1.30 p.m.